Here we have the swivel base on page 231 from AutoCAD 2012 tutorial by Randy Shi. The big problem here is to identify exactly where these curves come in. The centers are not given explicitly, so we need to construct them. First, I'll construct the rest of the details needed to get to those curves. So we'll start with a circle and its radius, this one right here, and we're going to start it somewhere over here. So looks like uh, 230, 50 will be a good place and it has a radius of 30 millimeters. Using that same center, we will create some diameter circles. This one will be 30. Back up here. This one will be 20. And then, I'm going to do another one that is 10. And then I'm going to move that to the right. So I'm done selecting the objects. I'm going to use the center as the base point and then I'll give relative points of 48 millimeters to the right and 0 millimeters up. And there's our circle over here. Then I'm going to create another one specifying the center here. It's also going to be 20 millimeters in diameter. Then we'll move that one. Starting with that base point to the right. 96 millimeters. Zero. There we go. And based on this center, we'll make another circle for this radius as specified here of 20 millimeters. And there we have all of our curves except for these two. Now we'll make the straight lines here. If you'll notice, I've already gone to View, Toolbars, AutoCAD, and turned on Object Snap. That will give me this toolbar here going to use that and the line command. I'm going to use the line command with this tangent and it's going to be a line tangent to that circle. See how that keeps sticking with the tangent there. And I'm going to do it relative 60 millimeters to the right, 0 millimeters up, and I'll do that again line, tangent to this circle, 60 millimeters to the right, 0 millimeters up. So we now know where that point is. It's a very important point there. Well, we're going to make some construction lines using the exact same technique here. Well, we'll these lines will be trimmed, we just don't know exactly how long they are. So I'm going to make them 50 millimeters back, and obviously no difference. Uh, and it took it as not relative, took it as absolute. So we just hit Control Z and go at minus 50, 0. That worked out better. Do it again. Line, tangent, tangent to this point at minus 50, comma 0. There we go. Now we are ready to construct these 
curves. The important thing to remember about these curves is that they are radii, they're arcs, and that radius is the same distance to its center as this point and this point. That's the definition of uh, an arc or a circle, is that each point is the same distance away from the center as all the other points. So that means the center of this arc is, according to the diagram, 15 millimeters from this end point here as well as from this line because it goes tangent into this line. So I just need to make two types of construction elements. I'm going to copy this line and use this as a base point, which is fine, and go up 15 millimeters. So I'm going to go over zero. Zero, comma, 15 up. There it is. Now, I know that the center of my arc is somewhere on this line. Don't know exactly where. I'm going to now create a circle that has a radius of 15 millimeters. I know that the arc is somewhere on this circle. Don't know exactly where it is. But now that I've got it on the circle, and I know that it's on this line, I know that it's at the intersection between the two. So now I just make a circle at the intersection of these two things and I make it 15 millimeters and look it's wonderfully tangent to this line and intersects that point beautifully. Now all I have to do is delete my construction items and then I'm going to trim away what I don't want. Notice that I can use as trimming entities even entities that are going to be trimmed themselves. So these are all the trimming entities. I hit enter. Then I just click on what I don't want. Right there I don't want that and I don't want that and voila. I've got one of them. I'll show you again how to do the other one. I'm going to copy that line and would we'll use this as a base point. Doesn't really matter where you have it because it's all relative at this point. And it's going to go zero in uh, the horizontal and down 15 this time in the vertical. So the center of my curve is somewhere here. And then I'm going to make another circle starting here. And it's going to be 15 millimeters in diameter. We know that the, the curve, the, this curve, the center of this curve, is 15 millimeters away from this point. We just don't know where. Somewhere in this circle, that is 15 millimeters away from this point, and where that intersects is where our circle needs to be. 15, and there is our curve right in there. So I'm going to click on this and delete it. Click on this and delete it. Then use the trim command. Select these three objects. And then trim away that part and trim away that part. Last but not least, I will trim everything else that needs it. Using these as trim entities, again, I hit enter to get to the next step, which is to find the things that are going to be trimmed. Click there, click there, and I'm done.